Welcome to the final video of this machine learning class. We've been through a lot of different videos together. In this video, I'd like to just quickly summarize the main topics of this class and then say a few words at the end and that will wrap up the class. So what have we done? In this class, we spent a lot of time talking about supervised learning algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, neural networks, SVMs for problems where you have labeled data and labeled examples, XI, YI. And we also spent quite a lot of time talking about unsupervised learning algorithms like K-means clustering, principal components analysis for dimensionality reduction, and anomaly detection algorithms for when you have only unlabeled data XI, although anomaly detection can also use some labeled data to evaluate the algorithm. We also spent some time talking about special applications or special topics like recommended systems and large-scale machine learning systems, including parallelized like MapReduce systems, as well as some special applications like uh, sliding windows object classification for computer vision. And finally, we also spent a lot of time talking about different aspects of sort of advice on building a machine learning system, and this involved both trying to understand what is it that makes a machine learning algorithm work or not work. So we talked about things like bias variance and how regularization can help with uh, some variance problems. And we also spend a lot of time talking about this question of how to decide what to work on next, or how to pri prioritize how you spend your time when you're developing a machine learning system. So we talked about uh, evaluation of learning algorithms, evaluation metrics like you know, precision recall, F1 score, as well as uh, practical aspects of evaluation like the training, cross-validation, and test sets. And we also spend a lot of time talking about debugging learning algorithms and uh, making sure that your learning algorithm is working. So we talked about you know, diagnostics like uh, learning curves and also talked about um, things like error analyses and ceiling analyses. And so all of these were different tools for helping you to decide what to do next or how to spend your valuable time when you're developing a machine learning system. And so in addition to having the tools of machine learning at your disposal, so of knowing the tools of machine learning like supervised learning, unsupervised learning and so on, I hope that um, you now not only have the tools but that you know how to apply these tools really well to build powerful machine learning systems. So that's it. Those were the topics of this class, and if you've worked all the way through this course, you should now consider yourself an expert in machine learning. As you know, machine learning is a technology that's having huge impact on the science technology industry, and you're now well qualified to use these tools of machine learning to great effect. I hope that many of you in this class will find ways to use machine learning to build cool systems and cool applications and cool products, and I hope that you've find ways to use machine learning not only to make your life better, but maybe someday to use it to make many other people's lives better as well. I also wanted to let you know that this class has been great fun for me to teach, so thank you for that. And um, before wrapping up, there's just one last thing I want to say, which is that it was maybe not so long ago that I was still a student myself, and even today, you know, I still try to take different classes when I have time to try to learn new things. And so I know how time-consuming it is to learn this stuff. I know that you're probably a busy person with many, many other things going on in your life. And so the fact that you still found the time and took the time to watch these videos, and you know, I know that many of these videos, are just, these videos just went on for hours, right? Um, and the fact that many of you took the time to go through the review questions and that many of you took the time to even work through the programming exercises and you know, these long and complicated programming exercises. Um, I wanted to say thank you for that. And um, I know that many of you have worked hard on this class, that many of you have put a lot of time into this class, that many of you have put a lot of yourselves into this class. So. I hope that you also got a lot out of this class and I wanted to say thank you very much for having been a student in this class.